Yo, welcome to Meta Stage. I am Dennis. We're gonna speak about how to be a monk at home. So you have a lot of time now. How spend this time the right way? How monks spend time in daily life? So monks they are meditating all the time. They wake up early morning. So how to follow the monk's schedule? Usually. It starts from uh, around 3 o'clock of the morning. They start with the cup of water and they go to the hall of meditation. A few hours of meditation, just sitting, do nothing, just observing respiration, helps them a lot to calm the mind, to improve the mind, and see what is inside in the mind, what kind of thoughts, what kind of emotions, anything what is inside, mind and body and they just observe it. They, they just see movies of all the thoughts from all the past and creations, illusions of the mind for, for future. And they just, just observe it, just stay there calm, do nothing. They don't react, they just stay calm. Like a watcher, like a viewer, like observer, guard, without any reaction without any expectation, without any craving, any aversion, like a statue. They even don't move a millimeter, just observing what is happening in mind-body. And only in this state is possible to dissolve all of these impurities that a human being accumulate to get a nibbanic state, totally dissolution. No more me, no more I, no more my. This is a purpose, to understand that all the body is just a accumulation of atoms, vibrations, that appears and disappears. This is a method of Buddha, he discovered it, and monks, they have the possibility to understand it by self-experience, self-experience, experience, within the body framework to get out from all the sufferings. After a few hours of meditation, slowly, with a slow walk, they go to eat. And every morning, every breakfast is different. It's like a present from the world. The world, through all the people, through all the hands, just give them all kind of different food. Just need to accept all the food, what the nature is giving them through all the humanity hands. There is all kind of food cooked food, vegetables, fruits, grains, nuts, even they give uh, vitamins like spirulina, anything that is given, they just need to accept. 
And after, with all this food, they're going slowly with awareness to eat it. But on the way to dining hall, there is a possibility to remove some of the food what they don't want. So they accept all the food before, but now they go in between dining hall and they can throw the food what they don't want to eat. So there is a beans, big beans with, usually they are full of all the food that the monks don't want to eat right now. So they just threw it, eating very slowly, very accurate, piece by piece, they feel the taste of the food. This is also a practice of awareness. It's practice to be consciousness, to be here in the moment. Just testing all the food, how it's entering, how the food is touching the tongue. What kind of sensation appear in the mouth when they put every, every food. It's a process of analyzing, discovering, exploring. The process to understand how it's working the life. After easy breakfast, uh, they have time to learn. They have a library, they can go and read books, uh, they can write, uh, they can stay calm there and to learn, to learn themselves, just to know much better this life, uh, to know laws of this life. And basically all the information in the library, it's about the books uh, from the old monks, how they discover themselves through meditation. They just wrote a lot of books about this about the process of meditation. One of the important books, like Tipitaka, for example, teach us how to accept uh, this world, how to accept pleasure and unpleasure, how to be with the nature, how to be in balance with the nature through this body. So, in the beginning is simple reading, and after that, they can go to speak with the teacher. So the monk can ask any questions to the teacher about meditation. Just to be secure that, that the monk is going through the right way, that is practicing on the right way. So the teacher can tell him a few words just to keep him on the way. Just go, just practice, just do it. After that, they have some more meditation. So they practice, practice and practice. So again, food. We can notice that there is a lot of different types of body of the people who do meditation. Some of them are slim or some of them are very big, yeah? Because the people eat less or more. In meditation, all monks, they can experience how is the meditation with food and how is the meditation without food. What is the quality of meditation with food and what is the quality of meditation with less food or even without food? Some of them, they practice a lot and they eat very little. But some of the monks, they eat a lot and they practice a lot. In this way, we understand that the power of meditation becomes from the mind. They work with the mind. They work with the concentration, they work with the awareness. So the monk improves the power of the mind. He eat or he doesn't eat, doesn't matter. In this case, less stress, quiet place, no noise, no pollution, improves a lot to calm the mind, to start see the things that the mind could not see when he was running, when he was just doing things, just trying to do, to do, to do. And the habit of the mind of normal people is just to go, to do something. And if for some reason people start to sit and do nothing, mind starts to worry that it's something unusual, that, that it's not normal. Because all the other people, they are running, they are doing something. So. I also need to go to do it. This is a wrong humanity habit outside of this kind of places like I speak about. So monks, they are in very calm with a very connected stay, mind and body, improving concentration. So in the evening, monks, they drink only juice at five o'clock and this is the last meal that they have. After that, they can wake up very early, start the day very early 
and how we know morning time is the most important time. And on the morning, the sunrise is the most pure time. Air, birds, all plants arise. So this is the most beautiful time of the day. It's why we need to improve our day and just to start to wake up early, like monks, like they're doing. Just to start to have less stress. So right now, it's a huge opportunity to you just to improve your quality of life, just to improve your day, just to improve your health. Just see what you eat. With this example of the monk, how they living, you can improve your day. You can start to do the same. You can have a goal just to have a few days living like a monk in your room, at your house. Just simple. If you want to start to practice meditation at your house, you have a link in description of this video. I just do it for you. Just a simple 15 minutes vipassana meditation, improving your concentration of the mind, just to have less thoughts, to reduce your impurities of the mind that's been collected from before. So improving concentration, mind becomes more faster, mind becomes more clearer, so it's possible to see where I'm going, what I want to do in this life, why, what, why, what is my purpose of the life. Just for you, just have a 15 minutes each day, uh, once on the morning and once on the night, or if you want to live like a really like a monk monk so practice and practice and practice